Welcome to Crystal Maker. In this tutorial, we'll learn about the new auto rotation capabilities introduced in version 10.8, allowing you to define structure based spin axes, rotate spinning structures, and export the results as rotation movies. Crystal Maker lets you easily auto rotate your structure. Simply click the Spin button in the toolbar, or choose the same command from the transform menu. By default, the structure will spin about the vertical or the screen Y axis. Now you can customize the rotation axis and other settings using a dedicated spin popover. And this can be shown by clicking and holding the spin button until the popover appears. Notice that you can click and drag the popover to detach it from the toolbar. Three sets of angle fields let you adjust the spin axis relative to the screen axes. In this example here, we have rotation set about the Y axis only. And here the structure is rotating about that fixed axis. Now I can manually rotate the crystal using the trackpad or the mouse, but notice that it continues to rotate about that same vertical Y axis. What happens if you want to spin your structure about a specific direction that's independent of the screen axes? To do this, we need to uncheck the lock rotation axis to screen option. And now the rotation axis will be defined relative to the structure and not to the screen. So let's say we want to rotate about one of our unit cell axes and we want this rotation axis to be inclined relative to the screen. So here I'm going to rotate my cube slightly and I'm going to rotate about the Z axis of the cube. That's perpendicular to this cyan plane. Now we have a little shortcut button in the spin popover, the cell button, and this will Choose the nearest unit cell vector parallel to the screen vertical. Compute the necessary rotation angles and if necessary, unlock this lock option. Now when we start spinning, notice that the cube is spinning about its own Z axis, not about the screen Z axis. And I can show that by rotating the spinning model with a mouse and you can see that we're still rotating about the Z axis of the model, not the screen's axis. Suppose we want to rotate our structure about a chemical bond, such as this silicon to oxygen bond in the silicate group. Well, the easiest way to do this is simply to select the bond and make it vertical. And we can do that using the selection inspector, which has a make bond vertical button, which if we click, does just that. We can then specify rotation about the screen y-axis. If necessary, you can click the little y preset to ensure that the rotation is about that vertical direction. Now, remember we need to uncheck the lock rotation axis to screen button. And if we start spinning, we can now manually rotate the molecule as it spins and preserve that molecule specific rotation axis, the silicon oxygen bond.
Notice that stopping the rotation causes the molecule to snap back to its original orientation. To stop this from happening, uncheck the Restore Initial Orientation After Spin checkbox. And then when you stop the rotation, the molecule stays put. We can record this spinning in a video. Start with your spin orientation set up using the spin popover, as we've just done, and with the lock and restore checkboxes turned off. You might also want to hide the popover and any selected bonds. Next, choose File, Export Video, Rotation Movie, and we're presented with a dialog that lets us customize the video recording. Now, the critical feature here is the rotation axis. We don't want the screen axis. We want to use our custom axis as defined in the spin popover. We can then proceed to customize the number of frames, the duration, and you can click the video options in order to specify an output size and quality. Clicking the OK button, Crystal Maker prompts you for an output file and then proceeds to save a rotation movie. Here it is on the desktop.